What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, buddy. So, uh, we are at Pompton. Palm Beach Gym. Yes, okay, <laughs> so first off, thank you very much for allowing us to use the gym. We actually did not plan this very well because we didn't even know if they had this piece of equipment, but they did, so I'm super happy. We were hopeful. <laughs> yes, so um, I wanted to teach about how I don't do RDLs. I've taught this before in videos, but I don't do RDLs with um, a barbell. Um, I like to do them on here. My range of motion is better. I don't feel anything in my back, and I feel it isolating. I'm really trying to get beefy hamstrings. Good tie-in, all that stuff. So I'm gonna actually show two different ways of doing this. I try to go heavy, so it's called progressive overload. So every single week that I do it, I try to go a little bit heavier. Um, or, I mean, top set that I did last week uh, was, two weeks ago, was five plates and 25s. And then I'll probably go to six plates maybe next week. Or I'll just slow down the tempo, or I'll try to go for 12 reps instead of 10 reps. So um, we're gonna start out. He's gonna kind of walk around and show you guys form. I'm going to make sure that my core is nice and tight and I'm going to go down as low as I possibly can and I'm going to hook my hands. I'll find the right position and then I'll show you guys. It's a little low for you. Okay, so since Kristen's so tall, um, next time I'll put the brake down a little bit lower. Shit, just let it go. Okay, okay, got it. I like to put my feet further back. Again, it's all gonna depend on how long your legs are. I will either, yep, so where she's holding her hands here, this is where I like or them. here, yeah, I'm actually gonna probably move and hold it there. Um, only because it's also a little bit closer to my body, closer to her body, so then less lats, less lat stretch. Um, and then each move, each time she goes down, she'll try to go further and further down so that eventually she'll come to a perfect, which she is already, perfect flat back. Uh, there is a way where I will show you in the next set, I'll just do the first two reps like that, where I tuck my hips under and I engage my glutes. Not engaging the glutes is gonna keep all the focus on the hamstrings if I wanted to add the glutes in. When I go really, really heavy, I don't. I just go all hamstrings. And yeah, lap down. Um, when I go really heavy, I also try to keep the constant tension. So sometimes I don't even stand all the way up. So constant tension all the way down and then as soon as I feel like I'm losing my hamstring stretch and strain, I'd, I'd stop, I go right back down. So we'll add another plate to this. And then I'm gonna hold on in a different place where she was holding on. This is really low for me. Sorry. I have to get into a freaking squat to get it's it up. Low for me. There's no like splitting the difference. Okay. Um, so with this also, um, sets of 12 to 10 when it gets really heavy. Sometimes I'll even do, and I do this with a lot of my exercises, I like to do a burnout um, or just a, a, the last set. I drop the weight down and I try to get to 15 or 20. We might not do that today um, because we're gonna pretend like it's another day, but it's not really another day. So we've been working out all day. All right. So you really don't want 
want to have to squat down that low, but again, for her, um, but you want to be able, because you don't want to, like, once it gets really freaking heavy, having to, like, do a squat to, wet the weight, to get the weight up. Um, and also, sometimes with my sets working my way up, like, for me, since I normally go up to five or more plates, I'll only do 10. So even though I could do a lot more with one plate or two plates, I'll do, like, 15 for the first set, and then I'll just keep doing 10 until I get to my hard sets, which are going to be my four and my five plates, five and a quarter, and then eventually six. So super, super important, and I tell my clients this all the time, especially with this particular exercise, do not stand this way and look at yourself in the mirror to make sure you're doing good form. You wanna keep neutral spine. That's how you can get nerve damage in the neck. You could pull muscles. So just keep the head straight and feel your form. Don't stare at yourself. Okay, now you get into a fucking squat. Okay. Core tight, suck abs in. Solo. Try six? I've never done six. Okay. Oh, we'll see. Okay. Let's go. Um, okay, so you notice I'm not wearing my waist trainer. So I usually actually do wear the waist trainer and I use it like it's a weight belt. Um, but I really want to force myself to engage my core. So I have not gone this heavy in a very long time. Um, it's probably been over a year. Uh, and I did it over at Powerhouse and I did seven plates and I think that machine just moves different. So um, the heaviest I've done with this exact machine is five and a half. So here we go. We're gonna go eight to 10. Okay. Ah! <sighs> 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 
There we go. Come on, you got it. Come on. Come on, get another one. One more. Come on. There you go. Nice. I think that was 10. Is that 10? Yeah. That was 10. I hope that was 10. Oh. You okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh. Here's the thing. I, we are only doing this so that I can teach form and give cues and all that other stuff. But what I do is, this is my Sunday. You guys might have seen this in one of the other videos that I've done. So this is my one heavy thing that I do on Sunday for hamstrings. And then I do prone hamstring curls and seated hamstring curls. And then I do a little light glutes. But for the video purposes, this is all you're gonna get. <laughs> so I will probably off camera, because you guys don't need to watch a whole nother set, I'll drop it down to three or four plates, and I'll try to get to 12 to 15. And I'll be able to really have very good mind-muscle connection on that, because it's gonna feel so much lighter, almost like a burnout set when we do the glutes. Right. So, what do you think? I, you mean, I, the form I love the form, And yeah. felt it, didn't feel it as much here as I you don't, would with the barbell? Right, so, especially just having breast augmentation, I don't feel this, and a lot of times too, when it gets heavy, I can't, but a lot of times I won't even hold on. I'll just kind of like hold my hands together and just press through. Yeah. So this is a really good machine, especially if you can't use your arms. It really is helpful. Yeah. So Perfect. I do really like this. All right. So, so like the video, leave your comments below, try it out. How heavy did you get? Come back, leave another comment, and let us know. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.